Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Dreadpath Zone. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And we are going to play some Firefight today. We're going to be testing out some beta stuff, which is going to be pretty fun. So if you're not aware, on the Mantic Companion uh, app website thing, there is lists for the Maison Labs, and then there's a few proposed changes that are maybe going to come down the line. So we're going to test them out a little bit today. So today I'm going to be trying out some of the Forge Fathers. They have a few proposed changes for some new models and stuff coming down the line. So I'll be bringing Forge Fathers today, and... I'm going to be cooking it up with some Maison Labs. They've got some new Blackwing Mercenary troops that I am ready to put on the board and try out. Yeah, dude, it's, it's going to be fun. So brand new list for... for we, we've never tried Maison Labs, mm -hmm. so it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time. So, hop on over to the table. Let's let's get started. We're gonna be trying something a little different today. We're, we're only rocking a thousand points, which is which is really low for us. So we'll see how it goes. Um, because of budget cuts, I had to bring a Steel Warrior Huskarl instead of the Forge Lord. He's just he's just too many points. I, I can't I can't fit him in a thousand points. So my command dice are gonna be kind of lacking. I've only got four. Um, and then I'll just kind of go over here. So I've got the Steel Warrior Squad with my favorite model, the Mjolnir Missile Launcher Dude. So it's just a small squad of five. I've got some Thorgrim and a new 2023 beta change uh, APC over here. I've got the Juggernaut with the Mining Laser and the Hammer because that model's epic and I had to put him on the table. I then have 10 Militias, who are the original OG Mantic models that actually got me into Mantic stuff. So, a little history for you there. I've got the proposed changed 2023 Iron Ancestor, just the, the normal default variant. He's a total boss. I've also got some Valkyr, so these guys are also going to face some changes here, and um, I'm excited to get them on the table, get some speed in this list. Not exactly known for speed. And then I've got a slightly bigger squad of Steel Warriors, this time with an auto cannon. I'm gonna be using the yellow and white dice, and that is 1,000 points. What are Maison Labs cooking with right here? Let's take a look. So we're bringing in a Black Wing Commander. Um, on both of his flanks, we have a squad of 10 Black Wing Marines. Back there, I have a medic squad. So I've got a medibot and then two uh, marines uh, to help with that. Zooming out a little bit, I have not one, but two fully loaded failed experiment zombie squads. This one has a uh, just a regular technician and the one on the left has a biotechnician. We'll get into that um, here in a bit. I've got one squad of rangers, and behind them, a really cool looking squad of grenadiers. I'm also pretty excited to have, we have reanimation division, a whole bunch of cyborgs, right? So the uh, nameless guy, that's gonna be standing in for a cyborg alpha. And then I've got seven cyborg betas. And I also have three security guards with that one. So they have a special rule where they get one extra inch to their advance and sprint stats for every security guard in that squad. So I mean, 15 points, it seems like a pretty easy choice to me. Uh, looking forward to see how that works out. And then big guy on campus, we've got an experimental aberration that I hopefully can punch a hole in some of that armor that Tyler's bringing. I will be rocking the black and blue dice, and I've got three black dice and one orange command dice. All right, folks, we are all deployed. So what I've got here is the Forge Father deployment. Got some fast stuff, got some chunky stuff. You know how it goes. We've got three objectives on each side of the board for a grand total of six. Uh, basically, at the end of the game, if there's anything alive that's standing on them, it counts towards the victory total. So it's not like a completely objective-based game. This is refused flank, if it wasn't completely obvious by the triangle deployments. Um, yeah, we're busting out the old city board again. It's been a while. It's been collecting dust for quite a bit, so we figured it's time to have it see the table again, especially with the 1,000 points. You know, it's a nice 4x4, four four, which can be a little bit different. Obviously, we packed it to the gills. It's gonna be hard to get line of sight, so that was all intentional. Um, yeah, Tim's got a whole bunch of stuff, grenadiers, Zombies, 
all the marines, aberration, all that stuff. So um, we're getting ready to throw down. Let's roll some command dice and go from there. We're gonna get this party started with some command dice. It's about as good as I'm gonna get. <laughs> you can re-roll one if you'd like. Mm. Ooh, does he re-roll the orange or does he re-roll the blank? Ooh, decisions. I'm re-roll the blank. You know what? You know how I, you know my look. <laughs> Not doing any good, but. Okay, so you got three, I got four. Let's do this thing. You have initiative, give us a start. This ranger unit is gonna get things popping. A uh, bit more uh, defensively, they're just going to sprint up and kind of hug this building right here. Not going to go into it, um, but they should stay fairly safe until the next activation. We're going to start off with the biker boys. I'm just going to zoom up to here. I'm just going to drive around, you know, bypass objectives. Hit that skirt. Skirt! Hold on. Skirt? Black Wings Commander is going to. Pop, skip, and jump, as you do, right back here. I'm going to move these steel warriors across the street. They check both ways, don't worry. We're just gonna hug this little piece right here. So we're gonna get rolling on these zombie squad. Here's our leader with the gray base. Oh my god, the zombie squads, that's the leader. Um, he is going to scoot kind of behind <clears throat> that radio tower, and the rest of the boys are going to pile in. My homie, the IA, he's going to scoot up. He's going to thread this needle right here. He's going to hit him with that deuce deuce. Ready to shoot, big blunt in his mouth, uh -huh. deuce deuce in his boot. So he's going to shoot the zombies with some cover. Iron Ancestor gets four of these dice. Um, he normally shoots on a four up, but I can hardly see most of his stuff. So we're looking at five ups here. Nailed it, good stuff, awesome. Start, but hey, game's young. Game's young. Um, I don't believe you get pinned because I completely missed, so yeah, I think you're good. Top G right here is going to make some maneuvers. He's gonna sprint a little bit. And he is just gonna bring him into crew. Around the bend. In some troubled waters. Gonna hype the militia up over here. And they're gonna hold down these blue barrels. Water's very important in the far future. You never know. Medic team gonna get in position. They're just gonna sprint up, kind of behind the commander. Just gotta hold it down, you know. Yeah. You know what? Every guy needs his hype crew. The boys in the whip. Are just gonna scoot up. Get ready to go down the highway. Rejuvenation or whatever the heck, reinvigoration, whatever the heck, cyborg gang. Uh, because of the security guards, they get an extra three movement that includes their sprint, so that means their 12 <laughs> sprint crazy. turns to 15. It's the length of your arm. All for the all for the low, low price of 15 points. Oof. Some boys hoofing it. I don't want to speak in the Vulgate. I don't want to speak in the tongue of the youth, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit juiced. And it's a little bit cracked. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna move these guys up through here. Get ready for the violence. It's gonna happen. I'm already worried about it. I'm not gonna lie. So this gang of Marines. Go sprint on up here. Can't quite squeeze in, but you know what? I'm a marine, son. I'll walk on water if I gosh dang have to. Classic throwback. These boys don't want to miss out on the party. Just gonna run up and hang out. That's it. It's a jit. That's the aberration. Is going to uh, sprint. Can't really fit anywhere else, but he's gonna oversee the battlefield. Commanding from above. Yeah. Le juggernaut. I'm gonna scoot up here. He's gonna take that mining laser and shoot at recently moved aberration on top of the building. Normally, I hit on a five up, but because this is a slow reload weapon and it's on the walker, 
it's gonna be a six up instead. Bam! Let's go! So, two hits. This is AP5, son. Okay, so it's not just him. All right, guys? All right? I'm tired of the narrative that it's always just him. Okay, so, so it's not just him. Can I? I just wanna, okay, all right. Now hold on, the game's still young, right? <clears throat> I haven't had a chance to roll yet. Oh, that's true. So let's There's plenty on. of time, but I'm just saying it's not just him. That That is verifiably true, it's not just we'll him. We'll wait till the end of the game. We'll then see. We can, then we'll see, the wheel turns. Mmm, mmm, so I need a twos, mind turn. you. I'm going to spend one of my uh, command points. I am going to spend that to pop the old Thorgrim out of their cozy APC, and we're gonna say, in classic dwarf fashion, bring it on, son. So we're just gonna pop out here. Um, so that's a short action, and then we'll use our pistols. Uh, probably not too much success, but we will use our pistols against the reanimation division, guys. Just to bait them over here. I've got nine dudes in there, so they all get a pistol shot, and it's going to be on sixes because of that big pipe that's in the way. Uh, yeah, good shooting, fellers. That's two hits at AP1. Armor six up, goes down to fives with the AP1. Uh, so that's a hit, but I need to roll resilient. Yes, sir, resilient two. <laughs> and great. I told you it was going to be very successful. That's it. That's all I got. And that's actually all of my dudes. So it's, uh, the rest of the turn goes to you, sir. So, uh, these Marines are going to sprint up. These gentlemen are going to pop into this building. You have ten. Stop flexing on everybody with that watch. Oh, Stop flexing on I everybody with that watch. Look at the shine. Are you uh, kidding me? There's been so many videos. I haven't bought a new watch and stuff. So I haven't bought a new Rolly. I haven't bought a new Patek in a long time. But I mean, if you're, no, I'm just playing. You know, I'm, I'm a teacher salary. He's a man of the people. <laughs> um, but yeah, so they're all just in this building. Um, <clears throat> And that will conclude my activation. All right, boys, round two. Rah! Oh, Holy moly. <laughs> okay, Holy thank goodness moly. it's not just me. <laughs> okay. Something in the air tonight. That's a lot of blanks. Oh, and you made up for it. Wait, wait, why'd you reroll all of those? Well, you can only reroll one. You can only reroll one. All right, I'm gonna reroll all. I'm gonna take those away. I'm gonna do the blanks. Yeah, yeah. Because they're all blanks, right? Yep. So you get one? Okay. Yikes, this is not high quality uh, command dice. <laughs> I got two, gotta make them count. I got three. Gotta make them count. You know, here at Dread Pat Zone, we often say, I ain't scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared of the cyborg guys. They have so many attacks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to take care of them right now. We're gonna start off with the militia. They are going to blaze away at those fellers. Let's see what they can do. All right, we're gonna blaze away. So I get to basically get one more dice per dude. So we're rolling 20 dice here on eight. Unmodified, straight up. Nothing but quality coming from Tyler today. Nothing but quality. That's, <clears throat> that's just really good, Militia. Super, super good. All right, you said your armor's six? Yeah. That's gross. Uh, I, got a, I got a wound. Resilient two. Resilient. Nope. <laughs> uh, but they do hit, which is the important part, so you will get a pin marker, which is the important part. So they kind of did their job, I guess? Question mark? Allegedly? Alleged I don't know. Now that they're pinned, I am definitely gonna use one of my two command dice to activate the boys. And we're gonna charge in there. Uh, we will take the hinder penalty, uh, as in not the charge bonus because of the stupid pipe, but you know what? You don't get to pick where you fight. You know, the fight comes to you. Fact. There's always gonna be someone recording for World Star. World Star! I guess TikTok now, but. For the, for the real ones out there, for World Star. So, my homies are jumping over a pipe, so I do not get the charge bonus. 
So my poor little guys are only hitting on threes. I love, I love Thorgrim, they're so great. Okay, it's gonna be 18 dice, because I have two dice apiece. Looking at threes. Bam! Uh, here's hoping. Good amount of ones and twos for you. A lot of ones and twos for you. This isn't gonna go quite as well as I was hoping, but. Um, okay. So I am AP two, your armor six, so I need fours here. Dudes, my God, you guys, I'm so seriously right now. And then you said it's resilient too. So because of the, the Medibot, it increases the, the range. Hit range to 12. Okay. So it's in, does that give them resilient three? Probably. Is that how that works? I, th I think it stacks, yeah. Yeah. So three? Yeah. Oh God, these guys are hardcore, man. So I need to reroll three of these um, for resilient. And this is um, the same, right? So yeah. it should be a four up. Oh, it's terrible, I only killed two. I'm gonna get my ass beat. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I take out two guys, which is better than nothing, I guess, but that's not nearly what I was hoping for. Wait, they can't take out the, the drone guy. <sighs> okay. Cause he's a security guard. He doesn't actually contribute. Okay, so we fight in the back. The uh, Cyborg Alpha gets four Assault Dice. Uh, the rest of the Cyborg Betas get three. So that puts me at 19 on five ups here. So they're AP2 um, because their weapon, the Beta Stinger Bolt. Maybe that's just Stinger Bolt. Because in the Beta? No, no. Did you just call me Beta? I'm top G, dog. I'm top G. But anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, so because of the shock special rule, they get an additional AP. So okay. I am armor six, so we need fours. fours here. <laughs> and I rolled unbelievable. That was a guttural, visceral interaction. Oh my god, I just got destroyed. An unbelievable roll. That's all nine of them. That's literally my whole squad. They all just died. <laughs> what? All right, I'm gonna be completely completely honest with you. I did not expect that to happen. Yeah, me neither. Uh, especially you hitting on fives. Like I know you get a lot of dice, but me hitting on threes, I thought was gonna result with a lot better result there. That was. Oh yikes! The wheel turns. So we're gonna consolidate three inches. And I just realized that I completely forgot the pin marker that was on those guys, but uh, that's honestly just my fault at this point because I completely forgot, so. Yeah, that was on me too. It's all good. Uh, you rolled out of your mind anyways. I don't think it made that much of a difference, if I'm completely honest, so. Ugh. The aberration, not too crazy about getting shot at again, is going to sprint. Kind of up against this building. <laughs> This looks like a watch commercial. I can't get over it. Every time, every time you move your watch, it just shines like a like a commercial. It's so Take funny. It no, 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 no. Keep it on. Keep it on. We're gonna drift our motorcycles on over this way. A solid twelve inches, and then we're gonna shoot at aberration guy. So, vroom vroom. All right. So they have um, essentially two. Rifles a piece for a total of four. Um, they hit on fives and with AP one. So we're gonna give that a shot. That looks pretty good. So three hits and AP one. I think you're armor six. If yes, I... sir. So two wounds. Unless you have any crazy crap. Sure don't. Okay, two wounds it is then. So we'll just hit you with the two. The deuce deuce. Worth noting is that for winning that last combat, the pin marker does go away. And I looked at the footage, it was four hits, which translated to probably about two wounds, which, I mean, whatever, it's fine. Anyways, go for it. In the future, you know, we'll get better, but they do, they are going to make a little hindered charge on these guys, knocking over potted plants along the way. As you do. Little regard for the city planners. Trying to spruce and lighten up the, uh, the whole area. Go, 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 go. 
But for this charge, hinder charge, obviously, so no bonuses, but it's 19 dice again on phase five up. Oof. That's looking really promising. Oh man. Oh no. Did you not hear my history lesson during the, the deployment? I mean, yeah. these are the... I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hurt them kind of bad. So they're AP2, so what's their armor? Five, so threes. So we're on trees. You know, I gotta say, you have been on a bit of a losing streak on the channel for a, for a bit, so maybe it's just retribution time. The wheel turns. You that's know seven. Seven. That's three. That's seven. Yikes. Leaves me with three boys to fight back with. Let's go. Three dice. Five up. Yeah. Two guys want it. Uh, armor six? Six, yeah. Suck it. Uh, resilient. Suck it. I killed a guy. All right. Let's go. Two. Well, it, it I know it's just one. Yeah. It's Women History Month, so we're not the sexy <laughs> not cyborg. Take the, the sexy cyborg is staying on the board. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Get rid of this guy. Thematically, he's not there. Mm hmm. So I run away six inches with my homies. We are going to take a pin marker somewhere. So we're just gonna run directly away and then you can pick what direction you wanna go. So I back up six inches, take a pin marker and then you make your three inch consolidation in the direction of your choosing. I'm a baby, you're just gonna squish me. I mean, you right. I mean, it's either that or get charged by, oh, actually, you know what? We'll go behind here. Okay. Sounds good. So these homies are just gonna run around the pod to plant. We're gonna do what we can to try to take care of these stupid cyborgs. All right, shooting. So I've got five of the rifles, two from the auto cannon. We're going to use the for the Forge Star command dice. And we're going to be hitting on fours. Uh, so, just as a reminder, that gives me weight of fire two and marksman, which I need. So, this is the marksman, and then this is weight of fire two. Um, these are all AP one, I believe, so in fives. And you're resilient two. Suck it. <laughs> I killed three of them. That's more than I can say. Is that almost everybody? Just about. But two more left. Mm -hmm. Ugh, yikes. I mean, they, they did a lot of damage already though. It's just icing on the gravy, as they say. I think I'll hurt a woman, are you? Oh, well, in March. Hurt all of them. In March. You'll take a pin marker as well, because yeah, auto. Black Wings Commander is going to pop into this building. He's gonna marinate in there for a little bit. Gonna move the Steel Warriors out into the middle of the street. And we are going to take a shot at the Aberration. Um, he is 50% behind cover, so he will you know, be in cover, but I'll shoot him anyway. So I've got four rifles and then two from the missile launcher. This is normally on fours, so now we're looking at fives because you are behind cover. Please hit, please hit. Um, not great, but at least one missile launcher went through. So that's AP like four or something. Oh, oh my god. I'm getting real tired of this. Real tired of this. I was okay. Reflecting on your actions lately. Maybe there's some karma. I guess. I don't know what I've been doing lately, but it's whatever it is, it's thrown off the dice mojo pretty bad. Pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Okay. Over to you, sir. I'm going to use a command dice. So I'm going to use activate neuro chips. So a lab creature, aka. Uh, Ronnie Renton. Ronnie Renton and the boys 
get to add an additional six inches to any move or sprint action as well as receiving tenacious which lets them ignore a hinder what would normally be a hindered charge Ugh. bringing their sprint up to 18 inches which is a absolutely really insane just overtuned absolutely insane arguably overtuned that's and craziness they're just gonna hop on over and eat they're the race. just gonna bebop over there like they're really just plug walking over there like it's actually wild 18 inch sprint on 20 zombies so by an act of God, uh, normally they're hitting on sevens, but they have an unhindered charge because of tenacious, overtuned, um, which turns it from seven to a six. They also have this horde special rule. So yes, I can count this high, 20 dice on a five up. Uh, it's a lot of dice, but you know. Should be half of them missing, right? Yeah, more than. Well, that's pretty good. That's about right. Okay. There's no AP, so let's see what we get. Sixes. Oh, the spice on these rolls. Ain't right. Are you kidding me? That's over two. That's three. Uh, that's six dudes, and I think there's only, there's only so many in there. There's only six dudes. What the heck? Oh boy, this might be a quick bat rep, fellas. This might be a quick bat rep. This one's right. <laughs> I don't know, I need to go move like three inches this way. Um, bring the crew, the boys, the fellas. Yeah. We're gonna see if the APC can run these guys over. So it is a clear charge. Uh, so I would get two dice normally. And then because of the beta, I have the impact rule, which is another two dice. Uh, typically, the white dice would be on a six up, but since it's a, a successful charge, it's on a five up. And then the yellow dice, because it's impact, is always on a five up. So they're both actually on a five up. Let's see what we can do here. Bam! Five up. Okay. Good start, good start. I like it, I like it. AP one, needing fives on your stupid armor six. So that's two wounds, but you're resilient two. I got one more. That's good. So you take out one more. We're gonna take out the hot lady. Unbelievable. March in, in one, March. History month. This guy, everyone, Tyler Schultz out. is a misogynist and a pig. And Let it be known. Let it be known. We're gonna fight back uh, on the five up. So he is the alpha, so he's on five. Bows. He's a bows. Big dog. Uh, nothing with this AP2. Yeah, they do nothing. So, nothing. Well, as the loser of the assault, you run away six inches. I guess directly away would be like that. You will take all your little cronies with you. Goons. Uh, and then I'll take my three inches, and I'm just gonna kind of back that ass up. Hey. The other zombie click. Move 12 inches. They're gonna come up against this one. Really stops. They're gonna stand there menacingly. We used that reference last bat rep. I'm not gonna put the meme in there. <clears throat> the SpongeBob one? Yeah. All right, the homie. He's gonna shoot these zombies right in front of him. Four dice on a four up for the shots. Hit him with that. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, that is three dead. Unless you have any resilience or anything, but your medic is way back there. So I'm assuming it's just three dead. Um, so we're going to peel off three zombies. And then I'm going to use my other short action to go in. So not an official charge, but I will be going in. I have two dice on a five up. Uh, one hit, and it is blast D4 which turns into four, four hits. Thank you, beta changes. And then it's three more dead. You can fight me back, I dare you. So three more zombies die. And that counts towards the combat resolution. So yeah, three zombies dead. Let's see what you can do fighting back. Hey man, these zombies ain't no slouches. All right, well, we'll so see. We'll we still see. have 
more than 10 units, so we get the horde rule. Oh, so yeah. instead of sevens, we're hitting on sixes. That's huge. I got 14 dice. That's a good roll, though. Like, I, I would not be upset with that roll by any means. Here's, here's the kicker. <laughs> I've got no AP. So you need eight. I need some eights here. No one. And then you have to reroll that eight for heavy armor. Right, here's the deal. I got it right here. Put it on my mama. Ah. <laughs> oh, bummer. So, so not close. close. We lose. But. Good effort. So I guess six inches out from my guy to your guy would be that direction. So your boys are hoofing it that way, I suppose. My guy gets three inches of consolidation, and I think I'm just gonna move up in your grill piece, because I don't care. And your boys will take a pin marker as well. So the grenadiers are going to pop out of the building. I go behind these barrels. And they've got their noob tubes out. They're gonna make it rain on that Iron Ancestor. Bunch of noobs. Let's see what we can do. Got four dice on a five up. And a one of them. It's a blast. It's D, D4, right? Yeah. Yeah, so three. No AP though, right? AP one. Oh, AP one. Okay. Seven. Sevens. I didn't get Aww. none. So, those guys are built tough. What can we say? <clears throat> they are activated. Build Forge Father tough. Gonna move the Huskarl with his fellers. And we're gonna shoot at the aberration for this shot. Three dice and a five up. And then one hit. One wound. Puts them up to three. Boom. Three wounds. We're getting there. We're getting there. So these are rangers, best and the brightest, uh, with their jet packs or anti grav. Gonna kinda skirt up to this building. Skirt, 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 like a private school for women. <laughs> I don't think we've I don't think you've ever said that one on the channel. It's good. Unbelievable, that's a Kanye classic. Anyway. Oh yeah, I don't know if I can say Kanye lines anymore. Anyway, um, so they're gonna skirt up here. They are going to use the faction special for one command dice. Um, the best money can buy. You know we got fans, we got rockets, we got hammers which is gonna add an extra six inches to their laser rifles, which will put them in range of those uh, Forge Fathers down the way. I'm also gonna boost that for my last one to give them rate of fire two. Ooh. So let's see what we can do. So we've got five dice shooting on four up. We're gonna go play. Wait to fire two. Way to fire two. <sighs> Way to convert, way to convert. Some clean stuff. And then, <laughs> no AP, so let's see what we got. Sixes. Two. Two. That's two more than he had before. Every casualty counts with Forge Fathers, especially in low count. Low, low point games, it's yeah. really tough. Low count. I the Juggernaut is going to shoot his mining laser directly into the face of the zombies. We're looking at three dice on a five up because I did not move yet. So that's three hits, twos, obviously. That's three dead. So we get to clap three of these here, zombies. Squished up. And then I'm exactly six inches away and I will charge, well not charge technically, but I will move into combat. We four dice on five ups. So that's three hits. AP two, so three more dead. That's three wounded, not wounded. Three squished zombies. Uh, you get to fight me back if you if you so if you so can. Eight dice on seven uh, because we're under ten. We're not getting bonuses. Seven, baby. And a one. I got two. Yeah. Watch these eights. Uh, you actually need sevens. Oh. 
Yeah. I won. Oh, he is heavy armor, right? You betcha. All right, watch this. Hey, I'm now boom from the gut. <clears throat> oh, that's a one. <coughs> okay, good. 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 good, good. So zombies are going to retreat even more, licking their wounds or whatever zombies do, and my guy will move up three inches to there. So this gang of marines is going to sprint on the objective. Objective, shm, objective, pairs. They're kind of having a little powwow around it. A little team meeting. A little and these marines are gonna sprint up here. And just, they're gonna step off the curb. That was technically not the leader, but there's the leader. He's just the waving guy. He's a waving guy? Yeah. Oh shoot, the guy doing the Roblox wave? That's the guy. Hi! The medics are going to sprint. They're gonna go around this corner. Just to stay centrally, lo centrally located? Yeah. Makes sense. That'll do it for me. Well, that's it for round two. I gotta say, rough stuff for the Forge Fathers. Rough. Rough stuff. This right here was just an absolute nightmare. I, I'm i still not over the fact that I didn't kill more dudes, if not wipe them out. That was, uh, that was pretty bad. But um, not all hope is lost. It looks like my walkers are handling business pretty well. Uh, so we got some end phase stuff to do here. We got to roll some nerves and we'll kind of go from there. So uh, yeah, losing that whole Steel Warrior squad and the whole Thorgrim squad is really painful. Oh, and the whole militia squad. I, I got wiped this turn. That was not good. I got hurt bad. Uh, okay, let's roll some nerves and such. I'll start it off. I got militia over here that needed a five up, and they did not get it, so they are gone forever. Oh boy, this is not going well for me. Um, the other guys are at half, more than half strength from when they started, so they're still okay. But um, Forge Brothers looking kind of light. I'm not gonna lie. Forge Brothers looking kind of light. Uh, so you got to roll for the zombies and for the cyborg. So okay, so for the, s the zombies are five up nerve. I'll roll for that first. Uh oh. Out. No friends. No. Nope, no friends. Gone. Okay. Okay. We can. We can deal with that. So it's five up normally, but uh, hurting. So it's he's down to the last guy. So it's so. seven, two. Uh oh. He, I I wouldn't be worried about them though. I think they did their, their my job. queen. He expires. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the end of round two. On to round three, ladies and mental gen. Command dice. Better. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I'm not quite as hot of a roller as you, but I'm I'm decent. I'm decent. Got stuff to play with this round. Finally. A little bit to work with. I am going to move the Huskarl six inches over to here. He is going to shoot with his cronies. I guess it makes more sense if they're over here. Uh, and they're going to shoot at the Aberration, so they will take the shots now. Uh, two rifles and a pistol, all on fours, so three hits. And AP1, so needing fives. Um, I don't know which dice that was. Uh, only one wound puts them up to four wounds now. But we're just getting started, boys. Okay. We're just getting started. We're going to play another model activation here. And we're going to skedaddle the old bikes. We're gonna scoot around this building, this corner, and then we're gonna line up a shot. Also shooting at the aberration. Um, this time we're going to use Faringer Overcomes. So I'm gonna spend two command dice to do that. And we're gonna party down. Thanks to beta changes, these guys, uh, basically they get four dice from the rifles a piece with this order. And then um, their burst pistols is gonna be two per bike. So I get to roll all these dice. Uh, all these dice are going to be hitting on fives. Shoot, 
shoot. That's looking really good. That is a that is a really good roll. That's the first time I've I, I've been able to say that all day today. Uh, so that's a lot of hits. Um, the white dice are going to be AP one. The other dice not so much. So fives and sixes. <sighs> that's what you like to see. That's what you like to see. I see it. Dead That's a whole dead aberration right That's there. A dead guy. Two, four, six more wounds on top wow. of this four. This good can't wait to get sponge. can't wait to get grenaded off the table. The classic distraction carnifex. <laughs> definitely distracted and definitely worked. But I got him, so good stuff. We're gonna get up to some funny business. So first things first, we're gonna use a faction special. So faction special doing it all since we do the most. So of course uh, they do add a little X three inches to their advance action. They don't really need it, but I am going to boost that. So it's going to cost me three command dice. Oh my goodness! Out of my six. So I mean, hey, that's huge. Um, but that's going to give them plus one AP to their assault. Ooh. And the biotechnician is going to invigorate. Oh my god. Giving them a frenzy. And they are going to charge the Iron Ancestor with less armor. So the Juggernaut. Yes. Okay. In goes Leonard. In goes Coiner. In goes the friends. So we get 20 dice hitting on six up because of cord. Boy. About as expected, I suppose. And that frenzy. Nope. Nothing. So we've got AP1, so we're hitting on sixes. Sixes. And I got two. Three. Three. Let me roll them all. With heavy armor, yep. Got two. two. Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Decent out of his four. Swing back. Yep, so I take two wounds there, and then. And I'll be swinging back with my four dice. I need five ups. 50% as expected. And two wounds as expected. So you and I actually tie. So I kill two zombies, so they're out of here. Um, and then I'm going to have to back up three inches, as are you. And then take all your homies with you. Uh, we both receive a pin marker, which is a bit of a pain. But I feel like that hurts me more than it hurts you. So you take a pin marker, I take a pin marker, and that's that. So invigorate, the end of my activation, I roll a dice. On a five up, I take some damage. And I'm queen. Queen getaway, so. Okay, well. No harm, no foul. It's actually pretty good. I didn't expect you to tie that, so that was, that was good. Puts a pin marker on one of my most important units, so, you know, there's that. Uh, we're gonna take the Iron Ancestor and charge into the zombies, officially charging. Which means I take my two dice and I'm hitting on fours. Oh, I was really hoping to spike there. And a blast, so three. Anything but ones, so three dead zombies. Uno, dos, a uh, tres, as they say in Espanol. And you get to swing back. So I subtract my three dice from those. It should be 14 now. So 15 died, uh, still on sixes, because uh, I still have more than 10. I don't think I have any fancy perks. I'm guessing it counts for the round, right? So you get me frenzy on this? I'm assuming. Let me take a look. To the end of the activation for the uh, frenzy. So that goes away. Oh, okay. Anyways, to hit, you needed what, sixes? Sixes. Three, three. Yeah, I'd say so. Because there's, what, three sevens over here? Those are all hits. So, AP1. Yes. Sevens. So, uh, or would three. it be uh, sixes? Because they're AP1? No, this guy's an armor eight. Oh, that guy. That yeah, guy. yeah. So it's three. And then a heavy armor. Got one. Got one. Hey, every one matters. That's true. 
Um, so there's one, and I killed three, so you lost that one as well. So you're gonna back up six inches from my guy. And take your cowardly zombies with you. You stay out of my city streets. You hear me? Industry. You hear me? Uh, we'll just go three inches this way. That's gonna be it for me. Uh, we're gonna clown around just a little bit. We're gonna use our commander, command dice, uh, target acquisition. So I get to choose two black, un black wing units within six inches. So it's gonna be these Marines down here, these Rangers up here. They're gonna get a free shoot action with a minus one to hit modifier on the Iron Ancestor and see what we can do. So we'll do the Rangers first. So they normally shoot on fours, but they're gonna hit on fives. I do have marksmen, so for this one, really good. So you get three. Uh, I gotta roll eight. Two eights in a row. Hey! I need another one right here. I get it right here, so easy. Never mind. No, you just need the. Uh, you just need to get a five up. Oh, oh, is that right? Yeah, that was a four though. No, I know. Okay, so now we're gonna do the marines. So they're actually shooting on a six this time. <laughs> um, not quite as good as the rangers would have thought. But I do get 10 dice. So, sixes. Oops, that was a seven. Ooh, donkey not roll. good, <laughs> not good. Donkey roll, but hey. Uh, Let me see that donkey ooh, roll. Nothing. Dang. But hey, hey that was- It's fun and it's free. That's right, so that the commander is gonna activate. He's gonna chill in that building. I'm just gonna drive this tank on over a little bit this way. And then we're gonna shoot at the zombie horde. See what we can do. Shoots on a four up. Nice. All right, cool, that was fun. Um, hmm. Yeah, uh, that's, that's all I got. Here you go. The grenadiers who are chilling behind the, uh, the crates. Uh, have the new tubes equipped. They're gonna shoot those Boom. bikes. Just like Battlefield. Boom. Just like it. So we got four dice. Shooting on fives here. Got two. Okay. And these are blast D4. Let's see what we get. Oh, so I not, get not great. three. Yeah, three total. Okay, I, I was actually a lot more worried going into this. You know how I, do. I am armor five. And so I need the one, so I need the fours here. Oof. Three. Three, ouch. Could be you. And that's gonna do a wound to one and wipe out the other. So, yowza. And they're gonna kind of inch towards the objective. Can't quite reach it. Just yeah, shy. Just shy. All right, all right. My final activation is going to be scooting these guys over this way and then taking shots over at the Grenadier squad. So the white dice are going to be the Hailstorms and then the yellow dice are going to be the Missile Launcher. I need fours to hit and I got two wounds. So that's two guys dead. Um, no resilient shenanigans because everybody's out of range, so. Right. Two guys gone. That's it for me, so the rest of it's up to you, sir. So the medic squad is going to jump on this objective. And then they are going to do the medic special roll on the zombie squad. Bring your guy back. I ask you do. Just defib them. It's simple. It's just like Battlefield. It really is just like Battlefield. Rangers are going to shoot at the Iron Ancestor and cross their fingers. As they all do. This time we're on fours. Ooh, spicy! Clean one, so I do need eight still. Spicy! <laughs> None. Okay. But it's still. You're and gonna do then the same now, thing, right, with the our Marines. Marines. Dumping, dumping ammo into this guy, but hey. We got five shots here. You need 10. 
Yeah, times two, five times two, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, that's totally what you said, right? Ooh, look at all those eights you wasted. Rolling, rolling juicy here. That is spicy, that's what you need. You need numbers. That's the quote, <laughs> quantity. Uh, oh, like three, four? Uh oh, that's come actually really dangerous. Come back, and then what is it, five bucks? Yeah, for happy hour. Oh, we got one ball, but still, it's pretty, hey. pretty cracked out. I mean, for, a bunch of, for a bunch of weak dudes, yeah, that's yeah. A, one bullet's gonna go one place sometimes. Okay, it puts me up to two wounds now. And that will square me away. That's it, that's everybody. All right, y'all, that is it for the round. Um, so we gotta do some nerve checks here. We gotta do some nerve checks. Um, I've got these valk here that need to do a nerve check. And everybody else kind of stayed the same. So everybody else is good on my end. Um, these guys are still good because they're above half. So I guess it's just them. Yeah. And they got a nerve of five up and he gone. <laughs> <laughs> he's out of here he just saw his homie get obliterated he's like yeah no nah, we just killed a big monster but that ain't good enough for me chief Pull off from that right there. <laughs> uh okay so that is the end of round three entering round four we actually got more of a game than i thought yeah, at the end of round two i thought it was going to be a lot worse but my my walkers are holding up the the play on the zombies to kind of stifle this guy was a pretty good move um, I do have two command dice left over, so I'm going to use one of those to get rid of that pin because I ain't about to play that game. Um, and yeah, that is the end of round three. Entering round four, let's roll some command dice and then Forge Fathers kick it off. Round four, here we go. Yeah. Okay, all right, we get to re-roll this guy. Oh yeah, okay, all right, no blank dice, I'm, I'm a fan. So I got six, you got what? Uh, five. Five, right on. Squared up. Sweet, let's go, Forge Fathers, start this thing off. We're gonna get this party off the right way. Iron Ancestor ain't gonna waste no time. He's gonna sprint on over here and beat some Marines in the face. We're gonna do our controlled fire here. See what we can do. Put 10 dice on a six up. Our controlled fire. Controlled Minus fire! One. Man, that's pretty good. Not bad. Four of them. Not bad. I need some hot shots right here. Do, do, do. Got oh, one. got one. <laughs> Heavy armor? <sighs> no. Quite get Just it. shy, just shy. So now we're gonna take some, take some damage. So I'm charging in on a four up. What chow? Oh, I really wanted to hit that. Uh, I am blast. Oh, it's so lame. Lame, you're so lame. Okay, well I killed one guy, which technically beats you. So I killed one guy, which means you back up six inches directly away, I guess would be that direction. And then all of your, your followers. Just, just run off. Hands. I got shooters, I got height guys. Um, I get my three inch movement. I'm just gonna keep bullying. <laughs> Cause that's just what this guy's here to do. Um, and then I will play an additional activation. Uh, and we're going to activate this here guy. He's gonna do something similar. Charge on into the zombies. And let's beat him up, beat him up. Hitting on four. That's three and anything but one. So three there. Taking out Trace Zamblinos, as they say in Spanish. Do not fact check that. <laughs> um, and then you get to fight back. So 13 um, at a minus one. So it just basically negates your horde thingy. Yep. On seven. Uh, anywho. <laughs> Yikes. All right, so two, and then you need sevens here. Got one. Heavy armor? Hey! Got one. You got one. 
Uh, so that puts me up to three wounds. I'm not a huge fan of. So, three wounds on my guy, but I did win combat, so you guys are going to run away as per usual. Uh, let's see, your leader's over here, so I guess six inches would be that way. My guy's going to take his movement and just hop on this objective and say, bring it. He's probably not gonna last this round, what do you think? But he went out with the blades of glory. So it really blows, but I'm gonna blow uh, target acquisition, uh, which is three command dice out of my five. Just get some free shoots on that Iron Ancestor. He's a big, tough, scary guy. That he is. That um, he is. So we'll start with uh, our Rangers. Five dice, one, eight, five up. Okay. Pretty good. Not yes. so good. Nothing. Okay. And then I need nine dice for the Marines. These are on sixes. And on one. Uh oh. And so we need a five up. Get it. <gasps> That's plus one wound, <clears throat> and it was for free. Takes me up to three, that's really scary. We're gonna do an extra model activation, so I only got one guy left. And the Grenadiers. Yep. Oh. Take a shot at the, the Iron Ancestor. Okay. So the black dice are gonna be the Grenadiers, the blue dice is gonna be the leader, the carbine. So these are on fives. Oh. And, uh, Tim finally shows up. Bummed it, um, <laughs> but we are going to move six inches. Swim away, lad, swim away. About where we started this game, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing the circuit. They just ran around this building. They just like... <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Steel Warrior's gonna scoot over about to there. Uh, which puts them in range of the Medic Squadron. Um, we're going to take our shots over there. Yep. And uh, let's see what we can do. So I've got yellow being the missile launcher. Um, you are a small squad. So instead of hitting on fours, I need fives. Um, one wound. Uh, you have resilient though, because you're a medic. Uh, not resilient enough. So one dude dies in the group. That's gonna be that. That marine squad, which has been sitting on their thumbs, if not twiddling them, for most of this game, is going to shoot down the line at the uh, dreadnought. Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Close. I'm trying. Wrong game. Oopsies. We don't do dreadnoughts here. Uh oh. Oopsie. These guys are on five, and both. Juice roll. We need Seven. sevens. Yeah, I don't like my odds here. <laughs> Ooh, I got it. Small Three. arms fires adding up. Got it. Got oh Ooh, no. That was the last one I needed. Yeah, he sniped him right in the, right in the open cockpit. So long. Oh. So long, Sir Juggernaut. He done did a good, a good fight. Not as good as the Iron Ancestor, but he, he, you know, you look cool. So that's, that's the important part. Not much for this guy to do, but to move here. And I guess I'll shoot at some zombies, try to take some quick pot shots. Maybe kill what I can. Shooting on four up. That's two hits. Boom, boom, boom. That is uh, AP one. I, mean, I think that is a kill actually, right? Cause you're defense three or two or something. Defense something really bad. Yeah. Okay, so two, two zombies die. Uh, we're chipping away. Not quite enough for a nerve check, but we're we're chipping away. Um, and that's gonna be it for those guys. I've got another activation that I can do, and I don't know what to do with it. I think I'm just gonna sprint these guys this way. And double up over there. That's gonna be it for me. So the rest of it's up to you. Okay. The Rangers. Gotta move. 
Oh boy. I'm gonna shoot down. Oh boy. I was afraid of this. It's gonna be looking like the Ted Offensive in here. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Yeah, that's funny. So, it's good enough. It's only offensive if it's not funny. All right, so, four ups. Oh. I do have marksman. Does he? Does he? Does he? <laughs> need eights here. Mm. One plus seven equals eight, so I'll count that. Just playing. Uh, shot is nothing. Okay. And then my last guys, uh, these zombies are just going to unpin. And I'll move somewhere. Give me a sec. The zombies and their infinite wisdom are just gonna kind of um, line. They call me Cuban Pete, and I'm the king of the Rumba Pete. And I play my maracas. They go chick chicky boom chick chicky boom chick. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. Knock it off. I kind of thought of a condo line. I, I don't think. Hey, you know what? I don't want to hear it. You're gonna hear it. Goofy. <laughs> Silly. Right. Funky. Well, folks, we're coming here to the end of the bat wrap. This is the end of round four, going into the round of five. Uh, he did take out the Juggernaut. That's really the big thing that happened this turn. Um, other than that, not a whole lot of change. Uh, a couple casualties here and there, but nothing, nothing too wild. So we're gonna jump in with some more command dice, and we'll wrap up this last turn. Ugh, so many blanks. That's so bad. Okay. Okay, I made up for it a little bit. So I got three, five again. Okay, uh, I get to start this party off, and that's let's go. Iron Ancestor is going to shoot at these guys right here. He needs a five up. He got two hits, and he got two wounds. So that is two guys dead. And predictably, I am going to walk into here. To try to beat up some stuff. Yeah, you can go and do your controlled thing. My controlled fire. These on sixes. That's pretty good. Yeah, I rolled in half. Eight. Oh, that's dangerous. That means I might die here. Oh yeah. What? What's what? What shooters? That's huge. Best money can buy. Yeah. Mm. My guys are drillers. What can I say? <laughs> Some drill. We pull up with that 40 clip. I thought I was the drillers because that's the Forge Fathers, but. Shoot, no. I, ain't, that. I ain't no driller. So, my Marines, or my Rangers, who just watched the Marines show them how it's done, <laughs> are just gonna hop on a subjective and discuss ways that they can improve as a team. Maybe do something in a game. We're gonna drop two command dice for uh, the best money can buy. Because what can I say? We got bands. So it eh, adds six inches to their range, which is pretty good. Not really necessary, but we also get weight of fire too, which that's pretty good. Yeah, decent, right? So yeah, you're shooting in cover because fifty percent of the unit yada yada. All right. So fives. Be rolling ones naturally, but the two's from way to fire. Two to fire. Nice. Pretty decent. That's real good. You need sixes here? Two of them. Oof. Oh no! Cool missile launcher guy dies. No! Uh oh. That'll do it for them. Not looking good for the boys. I'm gonna take this here tank and drive it over this way. And then I'm going to play an additional activation. I'm going to sprint this guy up to there. Because that's really all I got. <laughs> the Grenadiers. Switching course. Now they're gonna start going clockwise instead of clockwise <laughs> around this building. We perch up. Okay. Waiting for someone to turn the corner with the new tubes out for an easy kill. And move these guys ever so slightly this way. And we are going to shoot at the Rangers. Pistol guy is out of range, so just the two. Um, one miss, one hit. 
and a miss. Nothing. That's it. That's all I got. I'm out. I'm out. I guess for me, it's uh, zombies are just gonna chill, chillax. Yeah, there's zero unit strength, and those guys are chilling, right? So yeah, that's so that's it. Uh, we'll call it. That's it. All right. Well, there's another bat wrap in the books. Tim. Tabulate. Not much to tabulate. You want it? See this dead pile? Look at my dead pile. Look at all these yeah, zombies. Look how, look how cheap everything is over here. Hey, man. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll catch you post game. Thanks for watching. Just for funsies, we'll see if this guy survives the battle. He is normally a four up, but now needs a six up because he's the last surviving member of his squad. And he runs away. He's he, he's out of here. Oh. He, he don't care. Uh, so yeah, that just makes the, the score even more uh, lopsided. So um, the bad guys win. Congratulations. As they do so. The anti-heroes. Congratulate the bad guys win. The anti-heroes. Mm. We well, there you have it. That is a beta game in the books. Uh, yeah, a thousand points was actually kind of nice. I, I always kind of assumed it would be a little bit too small, but it's actually a pretty good like amount. It was just mm -hmm. fun. It was good. Definitely liked it. The small board. Yeah, it's a little snappy. It was definitely a little claustrophobic at the beginning with those. Uh, those uh, triangle deployments. Yeah, so you two, had so many guys. You had so many. So 2,000 points with that one would... Uh, yeah, you'd have to play on the 6x4. Yeah, for you know. sure. For but sure. Uh, no, it was, it was fun. Um, man, those the swingy dice at the beginning really, really tanked my, my plans. So I was really hoping to kind of take that side and then kind of, you know, put pressure on that side because he's kind of kind of near at the other side. And it just never happened. So, um, you know. Best laid plans and all that. Yep, being out to play with the other girls. Anyway, um, talking about those Black Wings, um, they're strong. Like, those faction specials, like... Yeah, I feel like... The, the movement options, especially. Mm -hmm. The six inch movement, like, adding six inches is crazy crazy on on such a small table like man it, it really puts like, the pressure on it's just like we were talking about it too like those zombie units which you know when you have a horde of them they're pretty strong but now all of a sudden you get the security guards which can add up to three inches to their move and sprint for 15 points which is yeah wow. they got some strong gimmicks <laughs> like some yeah. really strong gimmicks like they just get there in yeah. this list like yeah the cyborgs are no joke i mean just the the stacking the resilient, especially with the medic around, is really strong. Because then it's it's just there's such a tank to deal with, and they don't seem like it, you know. Because um, I, I threw a high quality unit at them, and they just like shrugged it off. Like who cares? I mean, I, I know I didn't roll well, but still, I think even if I would have rolled like average, they would have survived that and then be able to hit back. So yeah, it was fun though. I mean, I gotta say the, the Maison definitely played different from anything that I've played before because I, I know you haven't played GCPS, but I, I have. I've played GCPS on the table and um, they're definitely different from GCPS. They're not just GCPS plus. Like they got other stuff. They don't play like Plague. They play like their own thing, which is really, you know, like hats off, I think. I think that's really good that they have their own kind of style, which is fun. Yeah, honestly, really enjoy the list. Um, but play, you know, I honestly, I think it was kind of a, almost a little vanilla list compared to some of the options that they have. Yeah, um, do you really spike in one direction? Mm -hmm. I feel like, uh, in the future, definitely trying some variety of Chobar stuff or maybe doing a cyborg list. I see that being pretty cool. I see there's a lot of options that you could, you could take with that, with that army. Um, I know it's in beta right now, but what it's got is pretty cool. Um, maybe some tuning here and there to make it... I wouldn't call it overpowered right now, but I, I think that... It's just got a lot of gotchas. Yeah. I feel like it's got a lot of like, oh, surprise, I can actually shoot farther than it says. Or it's mm -hmm. like, oh, I can charge farther than it says. And it's like, it can be a little sneaky. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely didn't like bone up on like the studying. I didn't really read the list all that carefully. So then like we kind of uncovered stuff as we were playing. It's like, oh. Oh, oh, you can reach there. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. So yeah, it's it's a little different, a little different. Um, in terms of the Forge Parlor changes, I thought the uh, Iron Ancestor was totally kick-ass. He's super cool. Uh, I really like the blast dynamic on the hammer, just because it it gives that 
threat that he might be able to just spike and just wipe mm -hmm. something out, you know? That's the sort of thing I kind of want, like I imagine, as a, like a walker with a cool melee weapon. Yeah, it's like he's not gonna crush everything all the time, but he can, you know? That's that's mm -hmm. the fun part, is he can he could just like wipe everyone out in one hit. So I, I really liked the Iron Ancestor changes. I thought the Valkyr changes were really cool. Um, especially being able to combo it with the, the Faringer Overcomes uh, faction rule. That was super cool because then that those two little bikes became like a pretty scary like firing platform, which I was a big fan of. Um, obviously, it killed an aberration, so I got to be a little biased towards it working. But I, I think it's kind of hard to maneuver them to get that to happen because they're so much faster than the rest of the list that you kind of had to plan ahead to get that to happen. Um, so I I don't know. I, I like their unit. I think they're fast. The fact that they can move twelve or eighteen is like pretty sweet, especially in how slow everything else is. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know, my, my poor Juggernaut, I kind of wish he was a little cooler, just because the model's so awesome. I mean, he's good, but he ain't no Iron Ancestor. Like, if, if he was another Iron Ancestor, I think Tim would be struggling a little bit more. Oh, yeah. So, there you have it. Uh, Tim did pull it off. That's a, it's a win for Tim, Team Tim. Not just a win for me, it's a win for all of us, family. <laughs> it's, it's been a while, actually. Since <laughs> it's been, it's been, been a bit of a cold streak, so you, <laughs> you, you deserved a, a good dub. So, yeah, uh, well, fought hard for it, rolled harder. Um, <laughs> hey, yeah. It's it happened, it. man. That's what you gotta do. Gotta give it 110% out there on the field, you know? Every day I show up and I perform. <laughs> um, all that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching. And as always, uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and keep, keep rolling, rolling eights. eights. Hey. Hey.